Hello again to all our wonderful seventh graders. Our next lesson is on multi-step percent problems. And for this video, I'm going to show you two different methods to solve these problems. And then you can pick which method you like better. So let's look at example one. Best Buy is selling their solo beats for 10% off the original price of $199.99. If there is a 7% tax rate, how much would it cost to buy a pair of beats? So first we have to figure out what's 10% of the cost of the beats. And when you type that in on your calculator, you're going to get 19 and 999 thousandths. But remember with money, you always have to round to the nearest hundredths place value. So we're going to round that up to $20. So what that means is, if the cost is $199.99, we're going to get $20 off that price. So now the new price is $179.99. All right, but there's a 7% tax rate. So now we have to find 7% of our new price. And when you type that into your calculator, you're going to get 12.5993. We have to round to the nearest hundredth for money. So that 9 would round that up to $12.60. But with that $12.60, we now have to add that to the cost of the beats. Because remember, with tax, we add the price. So the final cost of the beats would be $192.59. So that's method one. Method two, if the original price is $199.99, we have to pay 100% of that price, but we're going to get 10% off. So as customers, we're actually only paying 90% of the cost of the beats. And you should get $179.99 when you do that on your calculator. Okay, now 100% of the cost of the beats, we have to pay that. But we also have to pay an extra 7% for tax. So now as customers, we're paying 107% of the cost of the beats. When you type that into your calculator, you're going to get $192.59. Notice we got the exact same answer no matter what method we used. All right, let's look at example two. Oh, I really love chilies. I love their chips and queso. All right. At Chili's, you order a meal that cost $8. The sales tax is 7.5% and you leave a 20% tip. What is the total cost of the meal? So first, we want to find what's 7.5% of $8. And that's 60 cents. So we're going to pay 60 cents for tax. We're also leaving a 20% tip. Now, when you tip your waiter or waitress, you always tip off the cost of the meal. So we're going to do 20% of $8. And that's $1.60. So that's how much we're going to pay for tip. But you can't forget, we also have to pay the $8 for the meal. So if we add all those together, the total cost of everything would be $10.20. So that's method one. All right, method two, we have to pay 100% of the meal. We have to pay an extra 7.5% for tax and another 20% for tip. So all together, we're going to pay 127.5% of the cost of the meal. And when you type that into your calculator, you're going to get $10.20. Once again, same answer. Okay, on to example three. Last week, Jamie went to Forever 21, and there was a shirt she loved for $12.99. When she went back this week, the shirt was 15% off. Ooh, lucky Jamie. She also had a coupon that would take an extra 5% off the sale price. Bonus! How much would Jamie have to pay for the shirt? So, we first want to find what's 15% of the cost of the shirt. And that's 
$12.99. So what that means is if the shirt costs $12.99 and she gets 15% off, she's going to get $1.95 off the cost of the shirt. So now the cost of the shirt is $11.04. She gets an extra 5% off. So now we have to find 5% of the sale price. The keyword there is sale price because that's what our new price is. So make sure you use that $11.04. So she gets an extra 55 cents off. So if the price of the shirt is $11.04, but she gets an extra 55 cents off with that 5% coupon, the final price of the shirt is going to be $10.49. So that's method one. Okay, method two, she would have to pay 100% of the cost of the t-shirt, but she gets 15% off. So Jamie's only paying 85% of that original price. And when you type that in your calculator, you should get $11.04. Okay, now she gets an extra 5% off. So now she has to pay 100% of that new cost, but she gets 5% off. So now Jamie's paying 95% of the cost of the shirt, and that's $10.49. Same exact answer. All right. On this last one, go ahead and try that one on your own. Pause the video, and when you come back, we'll see how you did. All right, method one. Hopefully with method one, you first found what's 90% of the cost of the stocking cap. So that's $12.60. Now the keyword here, though, is mark up. So they want to mark up the price $12.60 to make a profit. So they're going to sell that stocking cap for $26.60. Notice the stocking cap is the Bears. Go Chicago Bears. All right. Now in March, March, the weather's getting a little bit warmer. They're not going to sell as many stocking caps. So they're going to put this on sale. So now we have to find 45% of that new price. And when you do that, you're going to get $11.97. So because that's on sale now, we're going to take that off of the price. So now the stocking cap in March is going to be sold for $14.63. So that's method one. Method two, you have to pay 100% of the wholesale price and an extra 90% for the markup price. So as customers, you're actually paying 190% of the wholesale cost. So that's $26.60. Okay, but now you're going to get a 45% discount. So right here, you have to pay 100% of the cost, but you get a 45% discount. So you're really only paying 55% of the cost of the stocking cap. And when you type that into your calculator, you should get $14.63. So notice, same answer for either method again. Okay, did you get that one right? Okay, how many of you said no, just to be funny? Destiny, I heard that you did that. So hopefully you got that one right. Thanks again for watching our video, and we will see you next time.